We were recently hired to build a website for a fun, charitable event in our area, Portland's very own Shamrock Run. We thought their race and our product were a great match, and we wanted to share the process of how we developed and launched the site in a very short amount of time. With just a few team members and a few afternoon hours, we were able to take the site for all the way from design to production. So come along and check out how we did it. This is the website as it is now. As you can see, you know, there's some hierarchy and navigation issues. So we wanted to, you know, redesign it to make a cleaner, friendlier uh, presentation. You know, make it a little fun because the event's pretty fun. It sells out every year. So I pretty much worked with two directions on how to treat like the navigation and header space and some colors and imagery work with the headers and we decided to go with the first one just simply because of um, you know it kind of symbolized running with the angled box and then after we decided to go on that I started working on the home page after the de detail page so I decided to put a really nice introductory slider in there you know, present some key ideas that he wanted. It's kind of like a video feed. So you have like a top FAQs right here. So we took that out, those ideas, presented it to client for just an overall creative direction kind of approval. He really enjoyed it. He got our idea about the running. He didn't like the orange color, so we got rid of like the FAQs. We redid the FAQs. We got rid of this little register box that was below the uh, video feed because it should have been more part, uh, important. The way we solved that was like a box right below the slider to register. And the surprise that we got was the logo on top needed to change. We needed to put the Adidas in there. We didn't know the Adidas was part of the whole identity of the marathon. So we did some uh, more comps on uh, how to fit the Adidas in the top header without compromising too much of the design. And this one was the best, so we went with that one. And then after he was happy with everything, um, he gave us the go and uh, then we handed it off to Matt to chop it. Hi, this is Matt. I just got the PSDs from Robert and we're going to take them and first convert them to static HTML and CSS, then convert them into a concrete by theme for the Shamrock Run. So looking at the PSD, uh, I see two different page types, one for the home page and one for the general detail page that's going to house most of the content on the site. We're going to chop those into two different page types uh, for concrete 5. So when we designed this site, we used the 960 grid system. It's a CSS framework that makes your life a lot easier if you're trying to chop something uh, into HTML and CSS. So in this sped up segment, what we're doing is we're going through the Photoshop documents and cutting out the images we want to use with the slice tool. At the same time, we're also starting our layout in HTML and CSS, uh, switching back and forth between the two of them as we go. So uh, right now we're focusing on the detail page because once we get our theme going and the detail page dialed in, we can have our team go ahead and start building out content for the site uh, while we're still finishing up the home page. That might save us a little bit of time since the deadline's tight. So what we've got so far should look pretty familiar to anyone who's built a website before. We have two static HTML pages and then CSS, fonts, and images all in their usual folders. So in this next step, we're going to take our static HTML and CSS and turn it into a concrete 5 theme. Here we're cutting out the common elements like header and footer and turning them into includes which go in the elements folder. So next we'll cut out the placeholder content that was in our static pages and replace it with PHP snippets that create our editable areas. After we have our page types created, we're going to go ahead and add the last of the things that are required for a concrete 5 theme like thumbnail, description, a few other files. And then from there, we're gonna be able to install the theme in a local installation of Concrete 5 to test it out. Well, it looks like our theme installed correctly and our page types are activated. This means it's about time to hand off some of the work to our team members and try to get some more hands involved in the project as we add content and build out the rest of the site for our client. So at this point we've installed our new theme on the development site and we can begin building out the content. And we've managed to split off some tasks to different members of our team. 
Uh, Franz is building the site map out using our new, more organized tree structure. He's also adding content as he goes along using the copy deck from the client. The client's copy deck consisted of Microsoft Word documents containing everything he managed to salvage from his old site. Uh, meanwhile, Andrew is working on a custom template for Superfish. That's the drop-down navigation menu that Robert put together in the comps. And then Andrew is also adding the image slider block to the home page as well, uh, right below the Superfish menu. And then lastly, Robert and I are following along where Franz is at at the moment, and we're cleaning up content and taking whatever cues we can from the formatting that's left over. And in a lot of cases, there isn't too much formatting or layout specified. These are just Word documents that don't have a whole lot else more info in there. So the end result was we were able to get the website to the client that afternoon and uh, we were able to have him take a look at it and send us a list of minor changes. Uh, we did have uh, a few colors changed here and there in the text and various things needed to be bold or not bold, but for the most part we got things pretty right on and we had a very satisfying client. Over the next few days I worked with him to uh, correct most of the changes that he had in mind and find some workarounds for other ones and we were able to launch the site on time uh, with uh, more than enough time for people to find out about the race and register for it for 2012.